over the last 20, 25 years, the, the welfare of racehorses has, has changed a lot. Most of the trainers find very good homes for their horses. The problem is once they enter equestrian, you find that although the trainers might pass the horse to a suitable person the first time, these horses are often resold, and it's when they're being resold on, those are the horses that actually are a little bit more difficult to retrain because so many people have tried to retrain them before. The TRC was established 26 years ago and was called the Thoroughbred Rehabilitation Centre. Its aim is to care for the welfare, the rehabilitation, retraining and rehoming of retired racehorses. It was the first centre of its type in Europe. If someone was looking to gift a horse to us, um, whether it be an owner or trainer, the horse will come in to us and it will live in isolation for three days initially for biosecurity purposes and then we will clinically assess the horse. And the sort of injuries that we would be looking at would be tendon injuries or fractures, stress and strain of all, all natures. If everything's okay, you know, they'll do radiographs and things like that just to get a clear picture of the whole horse and where it's at and what it will be capable of doing. When they first come in, we'll obviously treat them as if they've never been sat on before. We'll lean over them, sit on them in the lunge for a bit, and if we feel happy, then we'll come off the lunge. We try to just ride them as much as we can because a lot of the thoroughbreds aren't brilliant at going around on lots of circles all the time. Um, but we have them out as well to compete sometimes at some local shows. Two-thirds of the horses that we bring in um, are potential welfare horses. In other words, these horses are deemed at risk and we bring them into the centre and we use our donated money to help support those horses in the hope of giving them a chance to be rehomed and having a life, to have a life after racing. Last summer we were alerted to two horses that were actually going through a local cattle sale. A lady very kindly went up and bought the horses out of the ring so they didn't have to go through being sold through the arena. They really did have some pre-existing injuries, the fact that one of the horses had a very bad, painful back, which is quite common with race horses. But with the right management, that horse was able to go on and now is able to hopefully be rehomed to have quite a competitive life ahead of it. He'd had kiss and spine surgery and he was quite difficult to start with. Now he's going quite nicely actually and yeah, he seems to have quite a lot of potential. So that was nice because he was very difficult to start with, really didn't want to work at all really. Sir Peter O'Sullivan has a very dear part in the heart of TRC. Throughout the last 25 years until his death, he's, he's always been our patron and has been actively involved. It is a privilege for me to have been a patron of the TRC since the beginning. Now the Thoroughbred Rehabilitation Centre is established as an outstanding leader in the care, rehabilitation and rehoming of resources in need. Certainly without Sir Peter O'Sullivan and indeed the Sir Peter O'Sullivan Trust, we probably would not exist. Um, it's as simple as that. Sir Peter has been an absolute godsend to the centre and to the horses. Job satisfaction here is huge. I see the horses come in and you know what they're capable of. And to see the work the girls do on the yard um, to develop the horse into you know an equestrian horse or just happy hacking anything, and to hear and see the you know the progress a horse makes when it out when it is out living another life is is huge. I find it rewarding because you can see how much a horse has changed and developed whilst they're here. And it's really nice to know that they're not just going to be thrown away, they can have another job afterwards, after doing their racing, and that's really satisfying. I like the um, retraining of them, like the progression, starting from scratch with a lot of them, and then building them up to going out to competitions, and then eventually getting them a, a nice new home and a new life. <laughs> they put so much in when they race for somebody, we should put so much into them to have a better life afterwards. It's very, very rewarding, especially when you see them. As much as you love them, and we do love them, it's lovely waving them goodbye as they go up the lane with their new loaner. That's the most satisfying part of the job.